Okay. I just wanted to point out, move forward this one, please. Point out to you, this is not just for parents. I want everyone to pay attention. How you get to where you want to go, if you're on the home page, can you put the home page down a little bit? Okay. There. Right up here it says Bible Teachings. You want to click on Bible Teachings. And then Children. Click on Children. Now, we've got a bunch of choices here. We're going to go up to the choice of Illustrated Bible Stories. Because that's the one we're going to go over tonight. One of them. The one we're going to go over is not about Ruth. It's about God sends Moses to Egypt. So that's this one. Each time you notice he puts his cursor on it, clicks on it, this brings up the story. Then he goes over to download, clicks download, open, and we come to the first page. So let's begin. Moses. It was Jehovah speaking through an angel. Moses, I am the God of your forefathers, my people, the Israelites. No, you didn't let Moses speak first. <laughs> Here I am. I am the God of your forefathers. My people, the Israelites, are suffering in Egypt. Let me send you to, to speak to Pharaoh. You are to bring my people out of Egypt. Moses and his brother Aaron went to appear before Pharaoh. Jehovah says, send my people away so that they may serve me in the wilderness. Who is Jehovah? I am not going to send Israel away. Aaron even performed a miracle before Pharaoh to show that God had sent them. But Pharaoh was stubborn. He would not let Jehovah's people leave Egypt. Next, Jehovah brought nine plagues on Egypt. The Nile River turned into blood. Rocks covered the land. Tiny insects called gnats swarmed humans and animals. Gadflies invaded houses and ruined the land. Diseases killed many of the animals. The Egyptians and their animals had painful boils with blisters. A hailstorm and fire ruined the fields and killed people and animals. Locusts, a kind of grasshopper, ate up the vegetation left over after the destructive hailstorm. Darkness covered the land for three days, but Pharaoh refused to send the Israelites away. Moses and Aaron went to see Pharaoh again. Jehovah has said, I am going to bring one more plague on Egypt. About midnight, every firstborn son will die. Sure enough, that very night, Jehovah sent the angel to kill the firstborn son and every God-defying Egyptian home, including Pharaoh's son. Get up! Go serve Jehovah just as you have stated. <laughs> All of the Israelites were finally allowed to leave Egypt, but the Israelites were not yet out of danger. How did Jehovah protect them? Find out in our next illustrated Bible story. Very nice job, don't you think? I don't think uh, Elliot was quite a mean enough pharaoh, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe he can't pull off the mean part, right? I told him to be mean. But... So this uh, illustrates how we can make a little play out of it. Of course, if it's a family at home, mom and dad can play their parts. Everyone thought I should have played Jehovah with a booming voice, but I thought uh, Quinn did a fine job there. It wasn't Quinn, it was Jim Wayne, sorry. But we also have this lesson. What do we learn from this story down here? So it gives the parents some questions to ask. So the first one I want to ask these young ones, why did Pharaoh not listen to Moses and Aaron? And did you look up some of the, the scriptures that I cited there? Um, 
It mentioned in Exodus 9.17 that Pharaoh was very arrogant and he was kind of not wanting to listen to anyone. And it mentions the same thing basically in Psalm 66, 6 and 7 where it mentions that he was very stubborn. Okay, I wanted to mention that, that he had a different word, stubborn, in the second one. Do you know what it means to be stubborn? Quinn, do you know what it means to be stubborn? Um, like, not wanting to do anything. Somebody um, else's way, right? Yeah. You want to do it your way. Yeah. Good. Like, for instance, um, in our time, um, if someone had a computer and they had a son or daughter, um, they wanted to be on the computer and um, the, the parent said no. Um, and the son um, didn't well, went on the computer anyway. <laughs> he might Maybe. stubbornly want to do his own thing, right? I didn't ask him to come up with these ad libs. <laughs> this is purely ad lib here. So. <laughs> nice job, though. Quite good. So the second question: How was Moses different from Pharaoh? Who knows how he was different? Jillian knows. Because Moses was meek and Pharaoh was rude. He was rude, all right. What does it mean to be meek? Is it just the opposite of being rude? I should be careful asking these questions because I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> Did you want to comment on that, McQuinn? A little quicker this time. Well, um, meek means actually, it's it actually is the opposite of, of um, well, meek's the opposite of stubborn. Okay. So it's being nice and kind, right? And congenial, going along with what other people want to do. Maybe you want to do one thing, but they want to do something else. So why do you think it's better to be meek and mild rather than arrogant and stubborn? Elliot? It's better to be meek um, because um, Moses was meek and Pharaoh was the meanest one and he was arrogant. Okay, how about for us? Did you have a comment? Sorry. Uh, Psalms 37, 11 mentions that the meek will possess the earth. Very good. Okay, and we want to be among those possessing the earth, don't we? Okay, now I wanted to show you some how you can go beyond uh, just the lesson here also. So we can go back, hopefully, um, Brother Kellum knows where we're going. There's more that you can do on the same subject. So you've just done the subject of Moses, for instance. So you may want to see what it has under family worship projects, or for instance here, Bible character cards. You can click on that, and you can print out a card about Moses. Or Naomi. <laughs> but Moses is in there. Someplace. I think he's on page two. There's Pharaoh, yeah. And we're back to Naomi. Okay. <laughs> this just illustrates what you can do as a parent. You can make it fun for your kids by printing out these cards. You like the old baseball cards, right? They can have cards of Bible characters. Here's the one about Moses. So download this Bible character and card. If you, anytime it has it in a different color like this, and you put the cursor up there and a the little hand shows up, that means you click on that. And up comes another screen with the card. This card will print out on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. You can either cut it or fold it in half so they'll have a front and a back half. And it gives some questions you can ask about Moses that would have been answered in what we just covered, I believe. A little profile about them, a map of where they went, and here are the answers to the questions over there. So that can be fun, and you can, there's stuff for people of all ages, kids of all ages here. They, you know, even adults can learn. So even got a little timeline right here about when he lived in relation to the rest of the Bible, when the Bible was written. Here's Adam is being created. Here's Moses. 
There's the last book of the Bible being written up there. Okay, let's give the uh, kids a hand again for their participation. Then I want to